So many things of this wonderful CX-5 make it my favorite. 19 inch gloss black alloy wheels, power rear lift gate, the beautiful poly metal gray outside, red accents on black leather inside. What's up everybody? I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard and Enterprise. And you see behind me my favorite CX-5, the carbon edition. And we're gonna do a quick inside outside all the way around because this one has the black leather inside. So let's jump in. More, 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 more car vids. More, 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 more car vids. We're back in the back and the critters and insects are starting to sing. But starting up front, of course, I just posted a short with this grill here. And most of you agree with me, this gloss black rugged chain length grill on the CX-5 Carbon is one of your favorites. I know it's one of mine. And then of course we have these little J or L accents here around the LED lights. Beautiful poly metal outside complemented with this gloss black up front. Gloss black 19 inch wheels, mirror caps, and we just had these windows tinted to give it a little bit more black. Of course you do still have some chrome, which I know most of you have blacked yours out around the uh, window edge there and then some even with the uh, roof rails which looks nice when you add some vinyl to that and then of course we'll cover the the emblems in the back because they're still chrome a couple of questions that that have been mentioned to me in past carbon edition videos number one this does have a paint sealant on it or the clear coat is a sealant you can add a sealant uh, with multiple products, of course, ceramic coating, and that would uh, help protect the paint, but uh, have not experienced any chipping issues on the poly metal gray. Of course, you can comment down below if you've experienced some, but I have not seen any on this. Um, of course, you know, rock chips aside, things like that. Also, uh, there's wheel and tire protectants available from your dealer, and of course, you are probably going to curb these wheels at some point, uh, depending on how long you keep it, going through a drive-through or a parking lot. But um, most of those programs won't protect from curbing, but they will protect the tire. And then if the tire is flat or blows out and the wheels damage, it will uh, cover the wheel. So just a couple of things that have been, been asked several times. Of course, as we go around, you can really see that chrome kind of reflecting here in the little bit of sunlight we have left. This builds up from the touring, so you do have blind spot monitors, of course, uh, LED turn signals there, advanced keyless entry, and we'll take a peek on the inside in just a minute. There's those emblems that I was talking about, and of course, this one back here, you guys have done a great job of uh, either um, dipping those or wrapping them in vinyl. Yes, the power lift gate is here to stay on the Carbon Edition, as well as the bows that we'll look at in just a minute. I know it's pretty dark in here. Um, well, we got a genuine accessory, a license plate frame. How about that? Shut that one in on us at the uh, port, but you do have the bows with the subwoofer underneath here. And of course the uh, two tiered, um, to give you a little bit of extra, this one's flush right here, but you can drop it down about a inch and give you a little bit more storage a little bit more organization here um and you can see well it's a little bit more than an inch i guess about an inch and a quarter and of course the 40 20 40 split right here for more versatility i believe the first complete walk around i did on this vehicle for 23 was in january and it was one that didn't have the lift gate and bows so they've come back with those of course mazda does have some specials on those if you happen to find one and don't need the lift gator bows on this and the premium models, there's some extra incentives. So make sure you check that out if you're considering one of those new 23s. Um, let's uh, jump inside and look at the beautiful black leather. All right, look at this door card, it's all blacked out. Of course, you do have red stitching right here, which is a little bit hard to see uh, at night. And I'll try to get close up on the seats for the red stitching. It's a great addition to have two interiors. So if you don't like the red, which red would still be my number one choice, but you have this option for black. 
and uh, that also allows us to produce more carbon additions because they were running low on red a couple of years ago. Um, you do have red stitching around this leather wrap steering wheel and the shift knob and the center console. So that dresses it up really nice. Of course, building up from the touring, you can see you do have this smaller uh, LCD right here with your uh, analog um, other gauges right here. 10.25 inch screen. Let's just crank it up so you can see what it looks like all lit up. And so here's uh, what everything looks like right here at night as it's getting dark, everything loaded up and heated seats, your HVAC controls, of course your rear uh, passenger notification as far as seat belts, auto dimming rear view mirror, hello. And if you like, would like to see more of me, and I hope you do and more beautiful Mazda vehicles, go ahead and click a subscribe. I would appreciate it. And then we have the moonroof, which is uh, standard on this. So full leather seats, perforated, very comfortable, heated seats, power seats, and the moonroof are part of this package as well. Very good change um, in 21 was when this is introduced. You also have your map lights right here, and this turns on those lights. We'll turn them off for right now. Sorry to blind you there for a second. And then of course the back carries over with the black and red stitches as well, fold down armrest with console and two USBs, two USBs in here. And of course, six speed automatic, sport mode or normal, electronic parking brake, auto hold, and all of your iActive Sense features make this just a phenomenal purchase and my favorite CX-5. I'm not gonna jump under the hood, but we know that the CX-5 for 23 only comes in the 2.5 naturally aspirated version. Of course, as you've seen, and that we've talked about on the channel, um, the 24 is going to have a uh, carbon turbo. I just wanna show you these lights real quick with that matrix kind of lit up there in the middle. It is gonna have a carbon turbo, which will be zircon sand. So you won't have this exact turbo offer, uh, but Zircon Sand with terracotta. And from what I can tell, it's gonna be a terracotta leatherette with the suede insert, so not a full leather interior. But we can't wait to see one of those as they start allocating them. And uh, hopefully with the CX-70, we'll see more applications of poly metal gray and maybe a carbon version. So I hope so, this is my favorite. Actually, with the red leather would be my number one favorite. This is a close second, of course, uh, in the CX-5. Uh, as far as looks, probably the turbo next with the painted cladding. Drop a comment down below what your favorite CX-5 is. And if you have any additional questions on this wonderful poly metal gray carbon edition 2023, drop those down as well. Or you can text me at 334-718-0504. I am Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard and Enterprise, and I really can't wait to see you in your own beautiful grill, beautiful Mazda.